Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm talking about the Boss RC10R, but also some other loopers as well. It's an interesting video today. I got the RC10R because a viewer asked me to review it. And I saw it and I thought, you know what, that thing looks really cool. It's small. I love the screens, the display on it. I just thought, I want to try that out. It's got some really cool features. I also noticed other people kind of running it down and I didn't see why. I wanted to explore it for myself. So I got one. I didn't review it though. Why did I not review it? Well, it didn't quite fit into my workflow. I was meaning to review it. It's a good pedal. It's a great pedal. I think I'm going to tell you today who should buy it, okay? And this is not a sponsored video in any way, but I'm going to talk about a few things today to get off my chest. That's going to involve the 10R, the RC500, which just came out. I'm also going to have to mention the Singular Sound Eros and Beat Buddy because they're great pedals and in this similar kind of vein. And also the Quantaloop app as part of my series, Music Apps with Coffee, that's going to be coming up in the future as well. That's more powerful as an app, a cheap app than any of these hardware pedals. But I still like the hardware pedals. I like them because they are hardware and I still like the old school approach. Now in the future, I may well switch over to apps exclusively. I might do it. But right now I still want some pedals on my board. And I'm actually currently building a board around the RC500. So that's the one I've actually chosen for now. And I'm building a board around it because I'm really getting into the whole one person band thing. I'm really having a great time. I've been playing to this morning. I've been jamming over tracks with these loopers. They're really, really fun. But let me tell you a quick overview of the RC10R. So I feel like I have kind of reviewed it and what I like about it and why I prefer the RC500. And in the future, I will make a full review of the RC500. And I'll also talk about the singular sound stuff and the apps as well. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. I'll also do some tutorials on looping and stuff like that if you want me to as well. But let's talk about these pedals. They're both red, they're both awesome. They're both slightly different. Now the price is quite close. The 10R is $300 right now, and I'm sure you can get one used cheaper. I mean, I'll be selling this one. I'm gonna be selling this one, so I'm sure you can get them cheaper. The RC500 is only $50 more, okay? The Singular Sand stuff, if you get the Beat Buddy and the Aeros Looper and the MIDI Maestro is quite a bit more money. It's much more powerful, yes, I'll give it that. But the software isn't quite where I want it to be yet. As soon as it is, I will be talking about it, but it is more expensive. The Quantaloop app is much more affordable, but you have to buy the MIDI controller. You definitely need to buy a MIDI controller for that. And it's using the software of your phone. It is reliable, but it's not a pedal and I still like pedals, but I'll be covering that as well. I love looping. As someone that doesn't have a band to play with right now, these things are so much fun. I can't tell you how fun the loop pedals are for me right now. And you wait, wait till you see the board that I'm working on for these. I think you're gonna like it because I love it. So anyway, this pedal is great. I have a few gripes with it, okay? First of all, it's a two button looper, right? Which is always a problem for me. But I found a little trick if you wanna know what it is. If you go back to a previous song and come forward again, it hasn't saved it. It's cleared everything back to the start. So that's what I do to work around that. And of course you can plug in like the boss pedal here to control it. You can also plug in the um, MIDI controller I mentioned, it's got MIDI on here too. Less MIDI commands than the 500, but still got MIDI, which is cool. There's some things I prefer about this. I love the form factor. I love the screens on here. They look awesome, but there's a couple of little things that bug me. Here's one of them, right? If I start a loop and the blue means the drums are gonna sync to the guitar, and it does do that on the 500 as well. They're much more similar than different, these two pedals. But check this out. I'll just record a one bar loop, see what happens. And this is my first problem with this pedal. It's not really a problem because you would never record a one bar loop, would you? But check out what the cymbal is doing. That gets really old really quick. Okay. On the RC500, you can turn each of the drum parts off or change the volume. So you could turn that down or turn it off completely. The same way I like to have a kick drum, just on the beat. On the 500, if you find a kit that has that, turn the other drums off, there's your kick drum. The 10R does have a kick drum in the metronome section at the end, but it, it's not just four to the floor. It's da, 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 something like that. It's got extra beats. I just want to and I can achieve that on the 500. 
Now on the RC10R, I can import MIDI files and loops, but I just find it much easier to use the built-in stuff. The reason I want a pedal is I want it all built in. I just want to, I just want to go. I don't want to have to add stuff. Okay, I do want to import my own loops and backing tracks and stems in the future, because that's really fun. But I want to have an all-in-one pedal. That's why I'm not using the app, okay? I would use the app if I wanted to mess around with that stuff. They both have an editor for importing loops, but not much else. I wish the editor would allow you to name things and type things in and move things around a bit easier than it does. That gets me to my next um, real issue. I say issue, I've, I've come to the conclusion now, I know what it is. The 10R is a songwriting tool to use at home. It's not really to use on stage. You can use it on stage. I've used it on some live streams here, but it's much better to use it as a songwriting tool. It's small. It does the whole drum thing very well. It, you know, all that, the fills and the ends and everything. It works really well for that. So, so that's what it is. It's a great songwriting tool. The 500 is more of a stage tool, but can also be used for songwriting as well. For me, the 500 is just the 10R, but a bit better. It has an extra button on it. Let me show it to you. I'll be reviewing this in the future, so please subscribe. It has the extra foot switch, which is always very useful, okay? And it still has the volumes on there. It's got the sliders. It has a mic in, which I love. You can plug a mic into the 10R, I guess, but it's nice to have a dedicated mic input. And it's got battery power, so that can be handy as well. But really, <laughs> silly, the main thing I like about this is for each track, you can name the track, the patch. You can actually name it. Biggest thing for me with the RC500 is that when you save a patch or a, a memory slot, whatever you want to call it, you can name it. So I can have 10 can be Brown Eyed Girl. When I go to that, the Brown Eyed Girl backing track is stored. You can't do that on the 10R. For me, that's a big no-no because I, I have to go to like number 10 and remember that it's Brown Eyed Girl. They really both sound great. They really both almost cross over, but the 500, that little bit of extra flexibility and the fact that you can name stuff and all that stuff, which I really thought would be in the 10R and it's not, those couple of little things just put me over to the 500. Now, I've used the 500 for a few days and I love it. I've got, I mean, there's a couple of little things that don't quite fit into how I'm using it. I may email a boss about it, but no complaints. It's a great, probably the best looper I've used to date. It works really well and it's brand new. I'm sure there'll be some, some bug fixes and firmware updates for it, but it's really solid. I, if you're looking for a looper right now, the RC500 as an all-in-one is absolutely fantastic. Yes, it's two tracks. Yes, you can get loopers with more tracks. Of course, the Eros has more tracks. Other boss loopers have more tracks. Quantaloop has more tracks, but as an all-in-one device for 350, the RC500 is fantastic. Again, I'll put a link below to my Sweetwater and Reverb affiliate links. If you use them, I'd appreciate it. It just helps you run the channel and make more videos. And I would like to make more videos. I'd like to make some videos on how I loop, how I'm building this new board for backing myself as a solo musician. I definitely want to do more videos on looping. I tell you what, I've had so much fun with the RC500. And I had a lot of fun with the 10R as well. I had so much fun this week just playing over backing tracks and looping and drums and different things. It's so much better than just playing solo or with a basic looper. You know, like I love the TC Play Acoustic, but the looper and that thing is so basic. It's so nice having a beat and it's so good for you to practice to as well. If you've got the beat going and you, and you have to practice to that beat and it's like a metronome, it's so good for your timing. So I'm definitely going to review the RC500, but it gets a big thumbs up from me. The 10R does as well. I think it's a great pedal. If you want to save the $50, if you want something smaller, if you know what you're getting yourself into, it's a great pedal. It does have a lot of features and gets very close to the RC500. But a few people have asked me this week about these two pedals, and I said, yes, I've been choosing myself this week. And if you want my opinion, the RC500 is that's the way to go. It's excellent. And you just get the extra stuff for the extra 50 bucks. So, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you've got any questions or things you want me to cover in the future. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't do a review of the RC10R. Many people have. The ones that say it's no good, I would ignore. Yes, okay, like some people say the drums aren't the best sounding. For me as a solo act, I don't want like a real, it sounds stupid, right? I don't want the drums to sound huge and organic and really, I don't want to sound like I've got a real drum behind me. I kind of want it to sound like I've got loops behind me. And that really does that well. And there's many different drum kits. I've got no problem with any of that stuff. It's just that functionally for a performer, the RC500 is the one to get. And I guess for a while that wasn't available. So the RC10R was, you know, we were trying to make it work in our workflow, but now the 500 is out, that's the way to go. At least in my opinion.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. And I'll have a lot more on the RC500 in the future, using it with the Morningstar MC8 with the MIDI control, which really, really makes it even more powerful. So I hope that helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. So be well and take care. Bye-bye.